My name is Nicholas Johnson. This is the Aorus RTX 3080 gaming box, a water-cooled eGPU that connects through Thunderbolt 3. And we're gonna try to put it onto this adorable little tiny little mining computer. All you need to do this is a tiny little screwdriver, two 1X to 16X risers for your PCIe, and a bit of an unwillingness to give up if things get weird. And we're in the space warehouse. This does not work with this computer. This computer doesn't have USB-C, but more importantly, this computer does not have Thunderbolt 3, so you, there is no way to plug this graphics card into this computer. And even if I get the graphics card itself out and it just looks like a graphics card, there's no more PCIe slots to plug it into. This has two full-size slots. They're just so close together that when you put a card on, it covers up the entire thing. You can't, you can't put two cards into this motherboard. But if you're not gonna use this for gaming, you're just gonna use this for mining, I'm gonna show you how you can. This little computer build only has a 500 watt power supply, which is fine for one 3080, but will not cover two 3080s. But this thing comes with a little power supply inside of it. But first, we have to get into this box and we have to get the graphics card out of it. If you just don't give up, if you just keep taking screws off, to find your way into the guts of this thing. So, let's get into this box. Thankfully, they seem to have used the same size screws all over this thing, so I don't have to like make a careful map if I'm ever gonna wanna put it back together. Because as you know, one day mining won't be profitable anymore and we have to get rid of all these things. And I don't know if anybody's gonna want what this GPU setup's gonna end up looking like. Okay, so you can see it in there. It's in there. We just gotta get in there and get to it. Okay, so there's a screw. There's no way you're gonna be able to see this. Back in here at the power supply. I, we're almost there. So here's the GPU. This is the water cooling radiator. You can see the water loop that goes in and comes back out, and then it's just attached there. There's a bunch of little screws on the I.O. These are the different screws, so we'll keep these over here. I'll call it the front. I don't know, that's holding the graphics card onto the front of this case. Okay. Oh. Ew. Oh, weird. Okay. So the power connector to the GPU itself is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two weird little tiny little eight pin connectors. So this thing has like a special tiny little eight pin connector thing on the back. That wasn't that hard at all. I'm sweaty. So, we have a little power supply. I don't think I need this. I think that's just a USB plug. Power supply, GPU, the little motherboard that's literally, I mean, I think, so we're not gonna use this motherboard, except that this motherboard is gonna have to be, well, yeah, that'll just unplug. With this little riser, 
This is gonna replace this thing's own little motherboard. Uh, first, I wanna power it. Okay, I'm gonna power this with the Molex off of the computer. Oh dear, we've got problems. So that is just power to the riser. And then the riser, did you? And that can just sit there, it's a fine place. I still wanna use this thing's power. So first I'm going to unbundle all of this. Okay, power to the card. Then, in order to trick this thing into turning on, because it still needs to turn on, if this motherboard power is unplugged, it won't send power anywhere. So we'll just plug that back in. Okay, okay. Then, with just a USB 3 cable, this little riser. Ooh, okay, this riser plugs into the motherboard wherever it fits. And so we're just gonna go ahead and plug a second one into the main. Some motherboards work like this, other motherboards won't. You might have to get a 16 to 16 ribbon to go to your other graphics card. But we're gonna try this, because I don't actually know. And then I gotta power up that. There we go. Whew. Okay. I know Red Panda says you don't ever want to use uh, SATA power on these risers, and he's probably right. The cords are too small for that, but uh, I'm gonna keep a super close watch on this, and I'm just testing all of this to make sure it all works in this form. A sort of funny circumstance when you're building a computer without a computer case is that there's no on button, there's no way to turn it on. Luckily, the internet's amazing, and some teenager with a rusty screwdriver showed me which two pins, which are right here and here, short out and make the whole thing come to life. I didn't put power on this thing. This is not gonna work properly. There's also no HDMI plugged in anywhere. This was a mistake. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it back off. I'm just gonna turn it back off. Make sure your eGPU has power first, then make sure your computer has power. Then you can short these two pins together right here. Everything should come to life. We've got fans spinning on the GPU. Fans spinning on that GPU, everything's starting to make noise. Look at that. I had already installed NVIDIA drivers, but in my other experience, when you have more than one, sometimes you have to reinstall them. But we're just gonna go ahead and open up Kudo Miner and see what it says. Yeah, so my computer's only seeing one GPU. Oh, things are happening. That might be the second one coming online. I'm gonna open MSI Afterburner. All right, we have two 3080s. Look at that, two 3080s on a B450, tiny little motherboard. Both of them not plugged into the PCIe 16X. Let's just see what kind of hash rate it'll get. Hash rate 184, 193. Uh, it seems to think that it's gonna make about $500 a month per rig, so I should be making about $1,000 a month at this current exact price. As we all know, that changes moment to moment also. You can see it's using 559 watts, which this is only 500 watts and it is not enough. It would not be enough to do it on its own, so it's a good thing we tapped into that power supply. There you go. If you don't mind your desk looking a little bit like this, you can have 200 mega hash, two 3080s, tiny little B450 board. Works perfect. My plan is I'm gonna put all four of these cards into one computer and then I have an old, RX 580 that's gonna run on this thing with a lot less power. Thank you for joining me. Bye.